Wakey, wakey. Good morning, darling. I made you breakfast in bed. Look, I am sorry about what happened last night. I promise you will never happen again, okay? Anyway, just eat something. I just can't take a shower. I don't want to be late for work. Eat, and I'm sure you will feel better afterwards. Um, we'll talk later, okay? I love you. Stop and listen to me. I'm your mother. I know that you're my mother, but I am not going to stop and listen to you this morning because I am late for work. Uh huh. Are you not the head of the company? If you're late, Uncle, look, we have to talk. I have told you before, Mom, and there is nothing you're going to say that is going to make me change my mind. I am getting married to her. She's not the best for you. But you pressured me to do it. You kept pestering about marriage, you kept talking about it day and night. Well, I've done what you advised me to do. I did not advise you to put a ring on her finger. A woman that does not have respect for her elders can never make a good wife. That girl is highly disrespectful. I have never seen her disrespect you before, Mom. I am engaged to her and that is final. But you don't love her. How do you know that I don't love her? <laughs> I'm your mother. I know you. You're my only child. Joe or mommy. You're a good man. You don't deserve to be tied to a bad woman simply because you want to punish me for pressuring you to get married. Well, mom, I am very sorry. It's too late. I have done what you desire. Very soon, you're going to be a mother-in-law and in the nearest future you'll be a grandmother i'll see you later tonight have a great day mom it will not be a great deal it won't be a great day for me hey sir. sorry i'm Hi, late sis. Oh. Good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> you look good and glowing as usual. Thank you. Thanks to my darling husband. He's doing an amazing job. I see that, obviously. He's doing a good job. <laughs> you look good yourself. Thank you. <laughs> so, what did you order? I ordered your favorite. Don't worry. You'll love it. I can't wait. Hmm. Matt? Yeah? What is that? What? This. What is this thing? Oh, um, it's it's nothing. I um, I I hit um nothing. It, it's nothing. It's nothing. So why are you trying to conceal it? Wait, is Derek hitting you again? No. So how did you get that on your face? I um I, I hit my head on the door. Um, it's, but that's it's, not your it's head. It's an accident. That's not your head. But Derek didn't hit me. Do I look gullible to you? Do I look stupid? On oh, wait, I'm a child. So Derek I say hitting you again after you lost a pregnancy, right? Um, can you just stop? 
Look, I wanted us to come out here and have lunch and have a good time as sisters. Can we just do that without you interfering in my marriage? <laughs> oh, at least this time we didn't say I was being overprotective like always. But that's exactly what you are doing, being overprotective. That is because you're my only sibling and I love you. And I love you too, but I don't interfere in your marriage, do I? Ever since your husband left here and traveled, did I interfere? Even though I don't like the idea. So you're going to compare my husband relocating for work to what your husband is doing to you? You're going through hell. He's torturing you. Domestic... Oh, goodness. This is 2022. Pam, people are speaking up. Nobody is going to kill you for leaving him. For just divorce him. Ah, 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 Pam, don't even go there. Don't mention that word, okay? I will not leave my husband. I won't leave my marriage because of his mistakes. No, but the one is perfect. So, He's not perfect. So, so wait. You're going to wait until he kills you, right? You know, I know what he is. He's an animal. But you know what angers me most? Is the fact that you constantly defend him. Every time I bring it up, you're always there to defend him. He's my husband. So what? Where's the reason that husbands have the right to kill wives? Marriage is for better, for worse. At what point do you know that you're already in the worst of it? You know what? I've lost my appetite. So I'm going to take myself out of here because the only way I'm not going to say anything I'm going to regret is if I leave here. Oh, but Pam, you don't uh -huh. have to leave. I have to. Because the only way I'm not going to say what I'm going to regret is if I leave right now. And know this, I am always going to tell you the truth. Even if you decide not to listen or take it. And I would never stop telling you the truth. Just know that. Victoria. I had no idea you were coming today. Pretend that you are happy to see me. And what is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Be happy to see me when you don't treat my brother as the man of this house. Are you being serious right now? How could you look me in the face and tell me that I don't treat your brother as the man of the house? Do you live with us? I don't have to live with the both of you to know everything. Oh, so since you do everything, you should advise your brother to be a better man, a better husband. You should be a better woman. Change. How am I supposed to be the one to change when your brother is the sensitive and abusive one? Well, I'm going to ignore the insensitive part. Your brother is abusive towards you because you push him. You push him to beat you. How on? Earth, do I push him to beat me? Sure. How? Look, I would not let you put the blame on me, okay? Oh, please, come off it. Stop acting like the victim here. Yeah. Uh, 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 your time is up. If you don't switch my house this minute, I'll call the gate man to throw you out like a common criminal. Really? Yes, you heard me right. It's respected me enough. Now, leave. Leave my house. I only came here to advise you. But it's obvious advice makes no meaning to you. It's okay, I'll go. I said leave. Learn to be a submissive wife. Learn to mind your business. Leave my house now. Good thing. And be fast about it before I throw you out. Get out. I don't blame you, I blame Derek. Can you imagine this tiny little thing? My sister came here earlier on today and you had the guts to threaten to beat her up. Is that what, what is wrong with you? Is that what she told you? Is that not what happened? Victoria specifically came to this house to ridicule me. She came to give you good advice. To tell me to stop acting like a bitch. Oh. Is that why you got the gate man to come and throw her out like a common criminal? Ask 
me, damn it! Look, I deserve some form of respect from Victoria. I am her brother's wife and I should be treated as such. And Victoria will continue not to respect you as long as you continue to treat me like a piece of shit! And how have I ever treated you like a piece of shit, Derek? You were the one that made me lose my five months pregnancy. I almost died. Well, you didn't die. And listen, I, I, it's not like as if I wanted you to do the pregnancy. You always hit me whenever I ask you about your whereabouts or when you come I can go and come as I please. You hit me even when I don't give you my own money. I am your husband and you should assist me anytime I need. I shouldn't be in control or in charge of your own death. Hey! Hey! Are you mad? Are you crazy? You're trying to crash into your bed when you came into this house? You listen to me. If you talk to me like that again, I will beat the crap out of you. I will leave scars all over your body. You lost pregnancy last time, right? I will knock out your teeth. Instead of you to be looking after your husband, you're here, bring your work, your, your, your work home. That'll be the last time you bring your work home. You, you understand me? You're not the only one that has a company or runs, runs a cement, whatever. I'm going up to the gun, change. Then I should be on that table next to you. Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. Oh, if I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. Just let me be. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Uh, uh, are you still angry with me? Derek, leave me alone. I'm tired, okay? I want to sleep. I swear I would never have buried you if I knew you were going to turn out like this. I never saw the side of you. Okay, babe, listen. This is an apology you're looking for. I'm sorry, eh? Apologizing and forgiving you hasn't changed anything. Nothing. Babe, I said I'm sorry now, man. Come on now. It's not the first time you're being so just leave me alone. Leave me alone. We dated for a year. You never raised your hands on me, not even your voice. You showered me with so much love and care. You promised you were going to love me and show me so much love. I married you and everything changes. All of a sudden. What did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong now. Babes, I said I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. You won't have to be Just leave me alone. Babes, That's what you always say. Listen, man, listen, I'm sorry, I promise I won't make you cry again, okay? I'm sorry. Are you sure? I'm positive, I cross my heart, you know? It will never happen again. You keep saying one thing over and over and over, you don't change. I know, man, listen, babe, please. I love you now, just tell me you forgive me. Huh? I've been saying it, did, 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 did you change? I forgive you. Okay, I love you. Love me too, right? I love you too. But can I sleep now? No, oh, we have to do it. Leave me, I'm tired, Jerry. Just sleep. Don't touch me, leave me. Baby, just sleep. I'm tired, my body is... Oh, can I sleep? You will sleep after. Can I just touch I'm you? tired, don't, don't touch don't me. Don't touch just me. Just like them there. Leave me once. alone. Let's just do one thing. Oh my God. Oh. Talking to... The moon. What an exhausted day. So what are we watching? Mm. Mm. Victoria, Tayo is not at home. Mm. Did someone just call my name? It's me. Oh. It is me. Uh, I know that I am not so slim that you cannot see me. I'm the one that is telling you Tayo is not around. I know Tayo is not around. Is it that Tayo did not inform you? That I will soon become your daughter-in-law. <laughs> 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 
Mm. You lack manners. You want to marry somebody. You walk into his house and you cannot even greet his mother. <laughs> That's because I know you don't like me. And I don't like you too. I know you don't want your son to marry me. Who in their right senses will want their son to marry somebody like you? You! Will you want your son to marry you? Eh? From the first day I met you, I knew you were just a walking bag of bad luck. Eh? Wait, 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 wait. What's the meaning of this? So because I didn't greet you, small greeting, you want to kill yourself? Eh? No, because I did not greet you, you want to die! Is it me you're talking to? I am talking to you! I know you don't like me, I don't care. But whether you like it or not, I am getting married to your son. For now, you can go ahead, hold him very close, put him close to your chest, I don't care. Because once we are finally married, you will step this feet of yours in this house. I will make sure of that. I should greet you. Say, madam, that you are now. We done and greet you. Hey! Oluwao! Oh, if there's any way I've offended you, whether in this life or my past life, a dare Jimmy, forgive me, Lord. This temptation is too much for me. Ha! My son is finished. Thank you. Welcome. I need to talk to you. Hope there's no problem. Uh, see, uh, things are not going too well. You know, I'm kind of broke. I need some money. How much do you need? Mm, you know, mm, mm, how much? Like three million. What? Three million now. It's just to borrow me now. I'll pay you back. I don't have that kind of money. I'm I'm quite broke too. Ah, uh -uh. you don't have the money. You don't want to borrow me. Is that what you mean? If I have, I I will. I'll give it to you. But I, I don't have it. But, but you have a company now. And so, if I have a company, does that mean I should be spending the company's money lavishly? Please, that is not the only money in the account now. You, you have money there, but you just don't want to borrow me. Uh, that's why you refuse the joint account, isn't it? I refuse the joint account because my father advised me against it. Your father is dead and gone. I mean, why? How can you be so insensitive? What, what, what was what's made of that rubbish you just said? Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean like that, man. I'm very sorry. I, I, sometimes my mouth just likes to run. Listen, babes, I'm really sorry. I'm just, please just help me out. Borrow me. I will pay anything will be appreciated. There's a proposal I'm, I'm about to submit. If I'm awarded the contract, I can see how much I can give you. Maybe 500,000. Dollars? Naira. Naira? Babe, that's small now. The project might take a long time now. Ah, uh, but that's the only way I know I can help. Babe, that's too small now. Small. Mm. I'll see how I can manage it, Shara. Babe, you, you, you can't, can't add anything to it, too, you know. No. Okay, fine, I'll manage it. Let me just. I'm gonna change and you know, get ready for dinner, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Victoria is lying. She came to your office to lie to you. I've heard you, Mom. Then why are you not saying anything? Because there's nothing to say. She insulted me, oh. 
She said awful things to me. Victoria can never mention such awful things to you. I have never seen or heard her disrespect you before. All you do is complain and you're being so unfair to her. Tayo, please don't marry her. Mom, I asked her to marry me two weeks ago. Do you expect me to break her heart? That will make me look like a bad person. I saw the ring on her finger. Where's the right ring? What right ring are you talking about? Your grandmother's ring. Did grandma tell you about her ring before she died? <laughs> of course she told me. Your father's mother and I were close. She told me that ring is meant for the woman you are destined to love. Why is it not on Victoria's finger? I'm sure you know the answer to that question. Then why do you want to marry her? I don't know, Mom. You've been pestering me for the past three years to get married. I met Victoria six months ago, and I got tired of you telling me that you wanted grandchildren. Oh, Lord, Madge. I don't want grandchildren from Victoria, please. Look, Mom, I just returned from work. I am tired and I'm hungry. Is my food ready or do I have to order for pizza? Don't order now. There is food. Thank you very much, Mom. Would you please serve my food before I faint here? Ah, you will not faint in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, one more question. Where is the ring? It's somewhere safe. So why have you refused to go see mom? She said she has been trying to get you to come see her for the past two weeks. You know she's traveling soon, right? I know, Pam. I have been busy, but I promise I'll go see her soon. Busy doing what? Why didn't you go today? What's your excuse? Boy, you're here. I've missed you. I want to spend time with you. Oh, I missed you too. But don't use me as an excuse. In fact, we're going to see her today. Uh-uh, don't start. I said I'll go see her. Natasha! 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 How many times did I call you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Are you stupid? No, Is I'm here. Is there a dog in this house? I thought as much. Hey, Pam, please, 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 please. Don't even waste your energy on this thing. Allow her to say whatever rubbish she came here to say. She'll leave soon. Thank your stars. Thank your stars. I'm not my sister. I will beat you blue, black. I will teach you manners. What I would have done to her. And what would you have done to me? Instead of you focus on that ugly marriage of yours with that Lebanese man, you are here gossiping up and down with Natasha. Oh, I forgot. He abandoned you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that apart from being ill man and she's also very stupid. Darling, my husband did not abandon me. Mm. He relocated for work. Dummy. Pam, you don't need to explain anything to nobody. She's just here to cause trouble as usual. Well, if she wants to cause trouble, I'll give her a thousand fold. Darling, today is a bad day for you. Well, I'm not here for small talks, okay? I am here to know why you haven't given Derek the money he requested for. Why are you such a wicked woman? Come! Who the hell do you think you are? Hmm? You ill-mannered goat. You walk into my sister's home and tell her how to run it. Meanwhile, you don't even know the first letter of marriage. Is something wrong with you? Well, I do, honey. I will be getting married very soon. And the both of you are invited. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. We should totally pay for things like this. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Oh, wow! <laughs> She's funny! Well, the both of you can laugh for all I care. Natasha, if you don't give Derek the money he requested for, you will have me to... <laughs> Get out if I'll slap. Get out before my hand will reach the back of your head. <laughs> see, 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 see a rat. It's you. Rat, rat with sharp mouth. That can be... I will be beating of her life. Did I just say she was getting married? Ha, ah, talking about marriage. <laughs> He's a lucky man that will put a ring on that.
Ah! Pity for the guy who read you. I, I didn't even know she was in a relationship in the first place. Yes, she is recent. But seriously, whoever, <laughs> whoever that guy is, we have to look for him. Warn him that he's about to make the biggest mistake of his life. Marriage is dead on arrival. To be hell on earth. If the man has a family, he should hide them. Because that one, she will give them pepe. No home training. Very rude thing. But seriously, yeah? We should look for the guy. You'll be doing your humanity a great service. You'll be doing the lost work. But no man in his right senses would want to end up with that thing. That rude thing. <laughs> Except they are beds of same feather. I disagree. Girls like that end up with the good guys. And good women like you end up with the bad, 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 bad brothers of those kind Damn. of girls. It's okay, okay? Let's not have this convo anymore. Let's... Mm. Whenever I'm telling you the truth, you don't have energy mm -hmm. for it. Let's concentrate on the unlucky man that wants to wife the rude girl. Not me. Mm. Not mine. Friend of mm. Derek. Ever since I got married to you, your sister won't let me rest. She wanted you to give her the money that I asked for. I don't have money to give to you now. Isn't everything that happens in our marriage, you run off and go tell Victoria? We should be able to sort things amongst ourselves without involving a thought She is my sister. She deserves to know everything that's going on in my life. I have a sister too. Do I go about telling her what happens between us? And I know your sister was here. I mean, you're, ever since her husband traveled abroad, why aren't she going to go and live with him? It's none of your business. It's my business when she disrespect me and my sister. What about your sister? She insults me all the time and you've done nothing about it. You think it's normal or you think it's okay? Derek, I've endured all of this and one day I will not be able to tolerate it anymore. Is that a threat? Get your hands off me. Natasha really said that? Yeah. She said she had endured enough. I feel like it's a threat though. I think you caused it. How? You're the one antagonizing her. I'm not the one beating her. Hey, watch how you talk to me. You watch how you talk to me. We had an agreement, remember? Yeah. She refused to joint account with me. She refused to tell me anything about the company. She doesn't tell me anything at all. I think you still cost it. You should have told her what you wanted before marrying her. Because I wanted her to trust me, okay? Pamela never liked me. She said I was only marrying her sister for her inheritance. You're right. But I think there is more to it. I don't understand. You got her pregnant. You think I've forgotten? I said it was a mistake. I said it was a mistake. A mistake? That you had to leave it for five months. I even had to remind you to beat her up. Wait. Are you in love with her? Of course not. Look, Natasha and I are not on good terms at the moment. I just need you to be nice with her just for now. Come on. Just be nice, at least for now. All right? This kebab is really nice. Why are you not eating? What's the problem? Why are you moody? Is Derek again, Abby? No. Of course it has to be Derek. And it's not. Then why are you looking like this? I know that you don't have physical injuries right now. There's no swelling or anything. But I know you're not fine. And, and I know that Derek could have done something to you because he is always doing something. It's not Derek, Pam. It's, it's work. You don't have to lie to me. Or... It's not him. I'm fine. It's just work related. Uh... There's this contract I need so much. I've submitted my proposal and I'm yet to get a feedback. But I'll be fine. I, I, if it's about work, you don't have to worry your head now. You got this. 
and that contract is going to be yours, okay? Amen. <laughs> but if you are lying and it's about that dairy care. Pam. What? Don't start now. I'm just saying it's, it's better to leave a bad marriage than return in a body bag. And what's this supposed to mean? I don't know. I'm just saying open up more. Mm, it's really nice if you try it too. My decision is final and you cannot change it. You cannot cook. Allow me cook for my son. I shall allow you cook for your son. At this age. Huh? Your mates are in your husband's house and you are looking for how to cook for your son. I have every right to cook for my son. He is not married. Hmm. He asked me to move in here after his father died. And you think that you will remain here after we get married? My dear, that's not the plan. The plan is that once he marries the right woman, I will move out and give them their privacy. You lie. You see you. As far as it is you that is in this house, I go nowhere. <clears throat> you have no right to be here. You have no business here. Are you not ashamed of yourself? How dare you? <coughs> <coughs> What have I done to you? I love you so much. Why do you hate me like this? Good evening, Mom. What's happening here? Why are you crying? It's your mother. I am the head of pleasing her. I'm always trying to make sure that she knows that I am good enough for you. But she's always saying that I am not good enough for you. <laughs> Mom, why is she crying? My dear, you are confused. Is how I'm confused too. Please ask her. Victoria, what happened? My love, I, I made uh, the Chinese food that I bought. I told her that I was to be the one to save you. But she said no, and then she wants to be the one to cook for you. And then the next day she started threatening me with the knife that she's going to use it to slaughter me. She was insulting me, she called me a witch and she slapped me. Are you possessed? Those lies have PhD. Look, she came here with food that she bought for you. I told her it's not necessary that I'm already preparing vegetable soup that three of us will eat. She refused and started insulting me. Oh, you're an elderly person. Elderly people don't say lies. That's not true. Forbid! I reject it. My son is not your husband. Mom, My please. soul rejects mom, it. Okay. My spirit rejects please, it. Please, mom, it's okay. It's okay. On behalf of Victoria, I apologize. I'm very sorry. Oh my God, I didn't know it's so bad. Would you keep quiet? Mm. Mm. Okay, please. Yeah, what Chinese? Insulted and she's the one who is insulting me directly or indirectly. It's alright. So, where's the food? If it is here, my love. Chinese with pepper, chicken, and salad. Mm. I'll eat it. Let me go up and I'll freshen up. Okay, my love. I'm just trying to make everyone happy. I'm a pissed off in person, but your mother is something else. My God, they vindicate me. I really don't understand you, Victoria. I gave you that exact amount last week. But I spent it already. Spent it on what? On myself. Don't I deserve to look good? You don't work for the money. I do. Do you think I pluck money on trees? No. But you are the CEO of your company. And looking good is good business. All eyes are on me. Which eyes? My friends, darling. Hmm? Baby, 
I intend going on a girl's trip before I fix a date for our wedding. So they're expecting so much from me. Why? What do you mean why? I am going to be the future Mrs. Williams. Baby, I know, I know you're very capable of giving me that money. Except you're angry with me for not letting you eat your mother's food this night. It is not about that. I am not angry. Then if you're not angry, are you going to give me the money or not? Alright. I'll send the money to your account tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are one in a million. <laughs> Baby, my friends are going to be so envious of me. I lead, they follow. I am not their mate in any way. They can continue to follow those Tringon boys that they are following. But me, I am above them in every way. Babe, you are the best. You know what I'm going to do on the street? I'm going to be flaunting things. I'll buy Chanel today, Gucci, and then Prada. Okay. Um, adventure. I know, babe. I don't really like. Um, what else? Okay. Natasha! 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 What? What's the problem? Why are you shouting my name? I thought you said you didn't have any money. Yes, I, I don't have money. You're a liar! I saw you coming out of the bank. Are you following me? It doesn't matter. Where's the money you drew? Keep to me. I won't make you think I went there to withdraw money. I saw you, okay? I saw you coming out of the supermarket and then you drove your mother's before you went to share the money with your mother and your sister. My mother and my sister have their own money. I've not seen my mother in a while, so I decided to go see her after work. I didn't want to go there empty handed, so I went to the supermarket to buy her some provisions. I don't care! Listen, you are going to show me your account statement now! Right now! And why would I do that? That's not possible. I knew it! I bloody do it! You have money! You have money! Yes, I have money. I have money to give to you if I want to, but I would not do that. I purposely gave you 500,000 naira because I know you'd never pay back. Alright, you listen. You have 24 hours to transfer 3 million into my account. You have 3 million into my account. And you have 10 seconds to do your worst. You want me to do my worst, right? Ten seconds. Do your worst, Derek. Don't worry. Watch this space. <gasps> See how he came to get married. Huh? Mm, I'm listening to you. I knew it. I knew he, you, you were lying that day. Derek is just with you for the money. Why else would he be stalking you? I'm monitoring you closely. I wonder. Don't wonder. Do something about it. There's nothing to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I thought you told him to go do his worst. Yes, I did. Okay. Between the two of us, we know how creative Derek can be. And it's not going to end well for you. I doubt that. Derek is very manipulative. He's going to get that money from you one way or the other. Pam, please don't start. Don't start. Don't start what? You're defending him again, right? I am not defending him. Stop. So what are you doing then? You, you know what's funny about this whole situation is that he doesn't keep the same energy when his stupid, spoiled brat, ill-mannered sister, disrespects you. But what do I know? Even if I advise you, you're not going to take it. So why am I even breaking my head over it? Please, I have things to do. We are not yet married and you're already cheating on me! What nonsense are you talking about? And what are you doing with my phone? Well, I read the chat between you and your friend. He wants to introduce you to another woman! You had no right to take my phone without my permission. Did you at least read the chat at the end? Then why should I? We don't already know what your conclusion would be. Read. 
Read it. Um. Uh, I didn't know you refused. You should have read the chat to the end before you started accusing me of cheating on you. You should try to be patient, Victoria. My love, I'm so sorry. You know how we women, we jump into conclusion. I'm very sorry, my love. It will never happen again. I hope so. Because I will never take your phone without your consent. Next time, you ask for my phone. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Babe, I love you. I love you too. Are you traveling tomorrow morning? I am traveling right now. Why are you traveling to by this time? It's late. Hey, hey, hey. What's your business? Hey, I don't know where I'm going to. Derek, is it because of the little argument we had earlier? Look now, see, I don't want to fight with you, please. Natasha, what is it? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't do this now. Okay, where are you going to and how long are you staying? I don't know. Three days or something. Uh, uh, this box is too big for someone staying for just three days. Come on now. Derek, please don't do it. Ah, what is it now? What is it? Eh? Look! I am leaving. Okay? Since you won't give me the money, I will go out there and go and look for the money myself. Okay? Just leave me alone. Eh? I know you don't, you don't want to see me in this house. Uh, how can you say a thing like that? You're my husband. I won't see you and I love you. Ah! You, you, you don't love me. You can't love me. Okay. What can you say I don't love you? Please now, don't do it. Touch me up. Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Hey, Mr. Unfaithful If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Cause you lied and you cheated and you lied a little more You never loved me yet, yeah, yeah, now I know for sure Now I know for sure Kisses Cause you lied and you cheated and you lied a little What's more What's up, how are you? You saw very well over the phone Has he responded? Nothing. How would he just leave you by yourself for a whole week without any form of communication? He won't even reply my text messages. I don't know where he is. Have you asked him um, what's her name? Victoria. I did. She said she doesn't know where he is. I went to her house. She refused to let me in. That brat is such a liar. If there's anybody that knows where he, where he is, it will be that girl. I don't understand. I don't know why Derek is punishing me. What have I done to him to deserve sword from him? I'm strong enough to go through with, with this thing he's putting me through. I am not strong. It's okay. You're stronger than you know. I know marriage is not supposed to be hard, but you're, you're reading this one. <laughs> no. no. I'm not strong. It's difficult. I don't know what to do. Why don't you try the oldest trick in the book? Act like you don't care. Maybe it will help him come back to his senses. Please, that won't work. Can't even do that. Besides, Derek is a stubborn person. You know that. So do you want to come to mine for a few days? Just still get back home. This is my home. I have to stay and wait till he returns. Besides, aren't you supposed to travel? I can postpone that. You don't have to. You can go see your husband. I shouldn't be the one to delay. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll figure out what to do. Anyway, if you need anything, you know, I'm just a vocal away, right? 
with me and I'll be on the next available flight down to you. So, Mr. Philip, I've gone through the proposals. Okay, sir. It's pretty impressive, so I'm um, willing to work with the company. Okay, sir. I need you to arrange a meeting between the chief executive of the company and myself. I'd like to discuss the proposal for the contract, then negotiate before awarding it. Okay, sir. When should the meeting take place? Um, let's say, um, I'd like the meeting to take place before the public holiday. Okay, sir. Where would the meeting take place? Preferably here, in my office, before lunch. Okay, sir. All right. You may leave now. If I need you, I'll let you know. Champoya, watch me as I poke for them. They say my blow the bomb, okay. Watch me as I poke for them, I choke for them. The beast of the rap game, see me, I combo them. Me toxic and fly. Cannibal mode activated. Spies. Shout out to Uber Smith. You know, pile of cabin crew on the whole 40 40 game. Exclusive 40 40. As you wave my jumbo, yeah, watch me as I vote for them. They say my blow the bomb, okay. Watch me as I vote for them. My joke for them. The beast of the vibe game, see me, I combo them. It's hard to get in flow. Shh. I they all low more them. He beans, but these rappers, them big Gary, so I so for them. The pops about to be dead, I'm the man like Moko, them sick like Stop Coco, them the rest of Lolo, them. Respect to be Rick, E Saga gives Mr. Loto, them. I'm Philly, Philly, I'm Philly, I'm feeling the city, silly me, speedily, need me, Billy, in Pimmy, reveal the villain, me, city, you still the dilly, me, spilling the net, the greedy, concealing me, Bim, and see me, you calling me, killy, killy, uh. Complete me, I'm the total, yeah, cause check me out the portal, ah. Uh. Immortal, like immortal, mortalizing the immortal. Me busting up the place. She has always been essential Them pissing in them pants when me show them me credential I'm, I'm spitting for my body room Cause the boy be mental Spice they charging me for murder Cause I killed the instrumental And me told the judge it was deliberate Never incidental Music is a soul food Mine is intercontinental ah. Me in goals we scoring now 40-40 we balling I'm yellow, pink, blue, red Now liquid there we pour Welcome home mm. I received the, the money you sent. How come you only sent me three million? Do I look like a bank to you? I sent what you asked for, and you can't even say thank you. You haven't answered the question. What kind of stupid question is that? You have money. Why were you offering me only three million? Just so you don't forget, I am lending you this money, okay? You must be a big fat joker. You're so ungrateful. You can't even appreciate or show gratitude what I did for you. A good man would be appreciated. And what exactly have you done for me? Have you built me a house? No! That's hard. What about a child? Have you given me a child? No! I lost my pregnancy. No! Please, you can get pregnant again. I am not God. Leave God out of this. Listen, you have a problem. You know what your problem is? You're frustrated. And if you're frustrated, you should go and jump off a bridge. Can you hear me? Jump off a bridge! Freaking mind. Less man. Three million. Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? I am his fiance and I have every right to cook for him. But you never cook for him. You always buy him food. Does it matter? What matters is that whatever I buy for him, he likes it. He does not like Chinese food. It's not even healthy to be eating such all the time. What Homemade the food is the best. What on earth is going on with both of you again? I thought I settled this issue yesterday. Baby, it's another one. I told you your mother doesn't like me in spite of the fact that I love her so much. Huh? I told her that I already bought you the Chinese food, the one you love so much. But then she still insisted that she wants to cook for Listen, you. Listen, today is Saturday, the day that I rest. Can you two at least just pretend to live in peace while I'm around? No. no. All right. Ah, oh, come here. Are you going out? Yes, mom. Oh, I'm going out. Go get my no, come here. I'm going alone. 
And when I return, I want peace in this house or I'm moving out. Baby. I'm being very serious about this. Come on, baby, it hasn't gotten to this. Oh, yes, it has gotten to this. By the way, I would eat out. You see what you've cost now? I hope you're happy with yourself. Mom, nobody cost anything. I just want to be left in peace. I just want to be left alone, period. I don't blame you. It's my son that I blame. He's the cause of all this. And I don't blame you too. Let me see but how you will cook that your dirty food in this my kitchen. Ah. Since you don't know how to respect people's boundaries, you will learn today. Go and cook now. Cook us. Kokoro. See how she is. Ha! Ah. This girl has insulted me. Hey, yo, Teddy. I got show I'm gonna tell you. Oh uh, yeah, I think um, listen, when I get okay. to the office, I'll check for the files I have, and maybe that's gonna. Oh my God! Oh, back. Are you blind? I'm Can't sorry. you see? What is wrong with I'm you? I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. You should be sorry. When next you're walking on the road, you pay attention, especially when you're on your phone. I will. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> What's funny? You're beautiful. Wait. Don't I, touch me. At least, can I fix it for you? No. I don't need your help. I can fix it by myself. I am just trying to Leave help. Leave me alone. I don't need your help. Please. All right. I'm sorry. You should be. That's Natasha's ring. I found it on the floor. You should sell it. I received a two million euro lot. That's very small. I know. Just manage it for now, okay? You're becoming very soft with Natasha. If you go with my plan, you will get everything from her. You think I haven't thought about that? I mean, if anything happens to her, I will be the suspect. You're not just playing the game right. I am trying to put heads between mother and son. What's so difficult for you to do same with Natasha and that I use less sister? It will be very difficult. Listen, Natasha and Pamela, they're very close. They love each other as well. Tayo and his mother are very close too. I want to even make sure that by the time I get married to Tayo, I will never see that mother in the house again. She will never step her foot in that house. How rich is he? He is. Very rich. No. Mm. Wealthy. Hmm. So when am I meeting my future wealthy? Well then. Love? <laughs> <laughs> Very soon, brother. Mm -hmm. Very soon. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Mom, good evening. Good evening. Victoria has gone. Oh yes, she told me. She called and said her brother wanted to see her. If you say so. Are you okay? Yes, Mom, I'm fine. I'm good. Something has happened. Tell me, what is it? Mom, can I ask you a question? Of course. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> Did you meet someone today? No, Mom, I'm just asking. 
Are you sure? <sighs> Mom, I'm tired. I'll be in my room. Mm. Good girl. Mm. What are you smiling about? Uh, uh, Derek, I had no idea you were right there. <laughs> you haven't asked me a question. What are you smiling about? What kind of question is that? Can't I smile again? You know, you've been all smiles since yesterday. I have every right to smile. Is it now a crime to smile? Give me your phone. Why? I said give me your phone. No, I, I was your smiley face into something else. Is it this game you're watching that's making you smile? Or are you thinking of another man? I, 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 I was enjoying the game. Man. You think I'm a fool, Abby? Listen to me. As long as you're married to me, do not even think of cheating on me. Do you understand me? Derek, I, I, I am not a cheat. I won't cheat on you. Mm. Where's your ring? I told you I, I lost it. I can't get another one. Get one. I'll get. Was that the one I lost it for you? Get another one, and that's an order. Mister Unfaithful. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Philip. I'm, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. The traffic was crazy. That's understandable. Please, my boss is expecting you. Just have your seat, and okay. I'll inform you that you're around. Thank you. Yes, come in. Sir, Chief Executive Officer of Hillbridge Company is here. Let the person in. Okay, sir. We see you now. Okay, thank you. Please sit. So, I, I am deeply sorry about the other day. Honestly, it wasn't intentional. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you do. I know you remember me. And like I said, I am deeply sorry. I, um, I was just in a bad, bad mood that day. I'm sorry I let out my anger on you. So it's my nature. I'm it's sorry. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. Um, well, I'm just really happy that I'm seeing you because I thought I'll never see you again. Okay, um, fine. Um, I'm quite aware that the owner of Hills Briggs Company died a few years ago. But I thought he had a son who took over the company. No, he has two daughters. I'm the eldest and I run the company now. Oh, I see. Sorry, but I never got a chance to ask for your name. Natasha Hill Orgy. Natasha. 
Um, do you care for water or tea before we discuss? No, I'm, I'm good. I rather will go through the proposal and come to an agreement. Ah, well, that's the reason why we are here. We are here to come to an agreement. But if you don't mind, what was the reason why you were angry the other day? I, I, I don't want to talk about that. But I, I'd love to know more about you. I am married. Are you serious? Yes. I am. You're telling me the truth? Um, I lost my ring. I'm yet to get a new one. I'm married. Oh, I never knew you were married. I was thinking I could get to know you more and probably we could be more than friends. We, we can be friends. Sincerely, we could never be friends. This meeting is over. Did I do something wrong or say some, something wrong? No, you didn't. I have accepted your proposal. But there is no need to negotiate the fee that you want. You have the contract. You and Philip will communicate. He will send to you the documents and agreements for you to impend your signature and you'll be expected to supply the number of bags of cement needed for the estate project. As for your money, that will be transferred to your company account. Oh, really? Wow, I am so thankful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate this, honestly. Address me as Tayo. Okay, Tayo, thank you. Well, if you want to show your appreciation, it is better that we never get to see again. Because if we see, under any circumstance, it will be very difficult to let you go. I am married. Yeah. But are you happy? Yes. It was nice seeing you again, Natasha Hills, Orgy. Nice seeing you too, and three once again. What are you looking for? My car keys. I, I, I can't find it. I have it. I want to use it. So how do I get to work? Your car is faulty. I know. I mean, I need a new car. Derek, I'm not doing this with you. Not today, okay? I'm late for work. I'll just get a cab and go. Get a mechanic to check your car. I'll pay for it. And what about my new car? I mean, you can afford it. You can get one yourself. Use your money and get yourself a new car if you want one. As for me, I don't want one, okay? Look, I'm not doing this please. today. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Mr. Phillips. Thanks to you two for reaching out. So I understand that payments will be made after the public holiday. Of course. My boss is aware. Fine by me. Just want to supply the goods after payment. So it's okay. Thank you so much for your time. Mr. Phillips, how is he? Who? Mr. Tayo, how is he doing? Uh, he's doing great. My, my regards to him. I will. Have had Natasha. I'm here. Yeah. I want you to prepare dinner for four. Are you expecting guests? Yes. Victoria and her fiance are coming to spend the weekend with us. What? 
pray your sister is coming over to my house to spend the weekend. Yes. And you're just telling me. And she's not even coming alone. She's coming with her fiancé. And do you have a problem with that? I wouldn't have a problem with that if your sister had the courtesy to call me herself and inform me. Are you mad? I... Come. Respect yourself. Bro. Go in there and make dinner for four. Now. Am I speaking to myself? Go in there right now. Rubbish. Nice to meet you, Tayo. Pleasure. Victoria still love nice things about you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much, Derek. Yeah, feel at home. Um, let me call my wife, introduce her to you. All right. Um, honey? Honey! Yes, dear. Please come. I want you to meet Tayo, Victoria's fiance. And Tayo, this is my wife, Natasha. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Tayo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, Natasha. I'll go get dinner ready. Oh, thank you very much. Please, sit down and <coughs> take that. Let me uh, take yeah, that in. You. Yeah, go to the side. Please, sit down. Feel at home. Oh, yeah. ah. mm. This is really nice. Thank you. How about your wife? Is she not joining us for dinner? Because I would love to thank her for the meal too. Mm, she's tired. She's resting. But I'll be sure to extend your appreciation to her. I really like that. Mm. No. Right. <laughs> okay. What is the matter with you? What have I done again? You left us in the living room and you never came back. You're supposed to be there with me. And pretend to be a happy couple in front of your guests. I won't do that, okay? I'd rather stay by myself. Just leave me alone. Is that what you want to do? Yes. I'll do whatever you want me to do, but I would not sit in the midst of your sister and her fiancé. I don't want trouble. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. You know what? Just do whatever pleases you. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Thank you. I saw the way you looked at her. Looked at her? I don't understand. Even if you can pretend to the whole world, me, Toria, you cannot pretend to me. I saw the looking at my brother's wife. Wait, I still don't understand you. How did I look at her? You were admiring her. Have eyes. You have eyes. But yet you can't see things clearly. I wasn't admiring her. And you don't need to accuse me falsely. By the way, I noticed that you both did not exchange a single word. Why? It's none of your business. Really? Yes. Married to my brother, or she's my brother's wife. We should be greeting each other. We should be friends. We should be exchanging words. No 
For what? For goodness sake, she's married to your brother. And we're in her matrimonial home. Did you even inform her that we were coming? Informed my brother, that is the head of the house. Wow. Victoria, that is very inconsiderate of you. Even if you want to introduce me to your brother, you should have called his wife and informed her that we were visiting. It's simple courtesy. Ah, Tayo. So now you are not insulting me that indirectly that I'm, I don't have manners. I am disrespectful because of my brother's wife. Before you insult me any further, I don't want to talk about this matter again. I don't want to talk about my brother's wife again. You're the one who started it. And I have finished. I don't want to talk about my brother's wife again. Fine, if you say so. I, I say so. Good night. Good night. Good night. Natasha. Why are you calling me again? We need to talk. There is nothing to talk about, okay? You never told me we're getting married. You never asked. We still need to talk. I am a married woman. Of course, I know that. But we really need to have this talk. I have to go, please. All right, I'll follow you then. You can't follow me. I'm going to my sister's. Just let me go, okay? okay? Are you serious? I swear down, Pam. It looked like something that happens in a Nollywood movie. <laughs> Sounds like Bollywood to me. I wonder what is going through his mind right now. This world is such a small world. A very tiny world. Like, I can't believe it. Like, I'm still in shock. <laughs> you know that thing that they say, yeah? When something is bound to happen, the universe has a way of aligning. You see, you, we didn't even have to go and look for him. He came right to your door. Hmm? So now, like we discussed earlier, you have to do the Lord's work, you know, help humanity. Eh? You have to tell him. Wait, are you saying I should tell him about Victoria's nasty attitude? Bifonko, the guy deserves to know. Hey, besides, I think he genuinely likes you. And you do I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you like this is not eye, like this is as if your dog is entering your eye. <laughs> Um, I never said that. I don't even know why I would be thinking anything like that. Who are you talking to? Me. That knows you like the back of my hand. You should see how you light up like a teenager when you're talking about him. You have glow in your eyes. There is no glow in my eyes. I don't know what you're saying. I beg, I beg. Ah. Please, oh. In fact, I'm not going back to that house as long as he's still there. I'm following you to your house. Hmm? So what are you going to tell the leader of the rebellion? Mike Tyson, what are you going to tell him? Mm -mm, please, don't even start with my husband now. I'll tell him I missed you now, that I want to spend time with you. Simple. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I missed you too, but you know what they say? A sinner man run it when no man pursues. You see that with that is entering your eye that you're denying now, that you're saying no. That's why you don't want to go home. But I just feel like you should go home and listen to what he has to say. You won't give the guy a chance. There's nothing he has to say to me, okay? I am married. Well, it's obvious Derek is bad for you. Oh, so what makes you think Tyre is good for me? <laughs> somebody does not run into somebody three times in a month. It is not coincidence, my darling sister. It is fate. The universe is, tr is trying to work. Allow Quibi do its work. Hmm? That's not possible, okay? I'm not saying you should cheat on uh, Uncle Mike Tyson wanna be you. I'm just saying that, look, I know you didn't marry him out of love. Maybe because you got lonely after dad died and then I got married. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, give Tayo a chance. Hear what he has to say. Hmm. I'll think about it. Think about it and give him a chance. Meanwhile, what did you bring back for me from the States? I beg, I beg. Where is it? Mm, tax collector. Uh, where is it? It's my luggage. Ah, better. <laughs> Don't joke with me. Mm. Please. And you too, please, auntie, before I travel, I ask you for a show, I'll be by it. I've gotten it, is that You home? bought it, Abby? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, I'll get it when next time we come in. Um, so I'll give you when you bring it. Oh, oh, it's like that now. Yes, ah, it's like you that. You just can't change. Are you sure of what you're saying? I am very sure. I saw them whispering at each other earlier today. Well, 
Maybe he was trying to strike up a conversation with her after the way she acted yesterday. I don't think so. I saw them when she was about to leave the house and the entire said he wanted to go with her. Don't you trust him, man? I do. Do you trust Natasha? Yes. She loves me. She loves you. With the way you've been treating her. Hi. Hi. I came to get a glass of water. That's okay. How's your sister? My sister is fine. Well, Victoria is asleep. How about Derek? He's awake. Natasha! Look, I know you're married. But can we talk? I'll think about it and let you know. Good night. It's alright. Good night. going anywhere. How many times do you want to see your sister? I am not going to see my sister. I'm going to see my mom. Is she sick? Must she be sick before I go to see her? You stopped her from coming here, remember? Because she has no business here. This is your matrimonial home. Oh, so you know that. But you let your own sister come into this house and insult me. And well, that's not the issue, okay? Listen, you're not going anywhere and that's fine. You can't stop me. I'm going to see my mom. She's traveling tomorrow. Oh. Derek! You didn't have to do that. She has a right to go and see her mother. How dare you? This is between my wife and I and got nothing to do with you. Victoria, talk to your man here. This is none of his damn business. Honey, please just come and sit down and let them sort themselves out. Is that what you're supposed to say? Your brother slapped his wife and he didn't say a word or do anything about it. What am I supposed to do? Slap him? This is absurd! I didn't say you should slap him, but you should tell him what he did was wrong! Natasha, Natasha, get upstairs right now. And if she does not go upstairs, what are you going to do about it? How dare you? How dare you question my authority in my own house? I am not only questioning your authority, I am challenging you. What are you going to do about it if she doesn't go upstairs? Answer me! Tie your tie your please! Please, it's, it's okay. Enough. I'm not going anywhere. I'll, I'll stay back. I'll, I'll just call my mom. Enough of it. Please, enough. Really? Yes, it's fine. Please. Would I make you happy? Hey! It is none of your business if that makes her happy or not. She's my wife, not yours. Derek, please. Please. please look, I'm, I'm really sorry I got, I got you upset. Can we go upstairs and talk, please? I'm sorry, please. Let's go, babe. Please. Please, let's, let's go. Hey, let's, let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Think you should calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You're overreacting. How am I overreacting? 
My late father never beat my mother. So don't tell me to be calm and watch someone hit somebody's daughter just because she's his wife. I mean, that's an act of wickedness. So because of slap, you are reacting like this. If you had beaten her up, what would, what would you have done? Does Derek beat Natasha? Look at the way you said it like it's a good and normal thing to beat a woman. Domestic violence is a crime. How would you feel if I beat you up? Uh-uh, this does not concern us now. I didn't say it's a good thing to beat her up. <gasps> baby, baby, let's just watch this film. Huh? Where are you going to? I am leaving. I feel so helpless here. Baby, calm down. Derek and Natasha will settle themselves. I said I am leaving. I can't stay here. I'm sorry. So you want to leave me here? Yes. Okay, let me go and carry my bag and follow you. Sometimes I come here when I, I want to be alone. But today I felt like talking to someone. I'm glad that you called me. And I'm happy you came. You know, after the way I spoke to you when you were trying to defend me. Yeah. I was pissed. But it's okay. You look amazing, by the way. Thank you. So, do you regret marrying Derek? Um... I'm not perfect, no one is, and um, when my father died, I, I felt all alone, and I thought the only thing I needed at that point was a companion, someone to fill that void. I thought Derek would fill in the emptiness I felt. I married him, but I was wrong. Then why are you still with him? My marriage is just two years old. Look, Tasha, he doesn't treat you right. Look, I'm not perfect, yeah, but I would never lay a finger on you or ever make you sad. If I'm upset with you, the worst I could do is to walk away. If you are scared of being alone, I would stand by you. And that's because I care a lot about you. But I'm married. I'm married, Ty. And you're getting married to Victoria very soon. I'm ready to leave her. My mother was right. She's not a woman for me. I can't leave Derek. I can't leave my marriage. But are you happy? It doesn't matter if I'm happy or not. Marriage is for better and for worse. But he's not right for you. Natasha, Derek is a problem in your life. But he doesn't deserve you. You deserve to be loved, to be cared for. And I will treat you like a queen. And that's because I love you. Tayo, I, I, I can't do this. Natasha, please, just stay with me, no, please. No, no, this, this is not right. It doesn't feel right at all. I'm a married woman. We shouldn't be seen together. Okay, please, I, I have to go. Tasha! <sighs> Natasha! Tayo, what are you doing here? You've not been picking my calls. You know why I have not been picking your calls? We can't be together, Ty. Well, at least, can we be friends? Is that what you really want? Of course, that's not what I want, but I have no choice. I want you in my life, even if all I get is just being friends with you. But, um, Ty... Please. Please. Look, being friends with you is going to make matters worse. We're not supposed to be seen together. Natasha, not having you in my life is only going to make my life completely empty. It's painful, but I've accepted the fact that we cannot be together. But at least, let's be friends. Please. Okay, it's, it's fine. I'm on my way to lunch. You want to join me? 
Definitely. Um, you know what? I'll just I'll drive behind you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. This is Natasha and her sister Pamela. And this is my beautiful mother, Mrs. Deborah Williams James. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I'm so happy to meet both of you. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> Natasha. I've heard so much about you. Really? You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I know that um, Tayo is the one that is your friend, but in case you want to visit any time, even if he's not around, I'll be happy to host him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. I made some delicious vegetable soup. I know you both will love it. Yes, hmm? I'm sure there's goat meat in it. Ah, <laughs> you haven't even started. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Please sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So um, you just feel very comfortable. I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks. Like a vibe, such a vibe. Pam, <laughs> oh. um, can you hear that? What? Exactly. Nothing. Just peace and quiet. Not that Zambisa forest where you are. You should be Shut somewhere up. like this. Where do we share uh, vegetables and goat meat? Pam, can you just With the mother in law that has vibes. I've said my own shout. I want to be where they're sharing vegetable soup and goods meat. So every time I come to settling fights on that stupid sister in law and just her husband. What have I done to deserve this? Ever since I returned from my girl's trip, you've been acting strange. How have I changed? You don't take my calls, you don't really respond to my messages. Sorry about that, I've been very busy. Busy? Too busy to call me? I'm sorry. Okay, I promise it will never happen again. I don't even understand you. Victoria, I just apologized to you. What else do you want me to do? Fix a date. Yeah, fix a date for our wedding. What are you even waiting for? Okay, yeah, look, we, we definitely are going to get married. <sighs> Okay, so when? Date? Just give me some time. I still have to discuss it with my mother and um, hear what she has to say and see what we can come up with. Discuss with your mother. Let me know on, as soon as possible so we can start planning. Okay? Don't keep me waiting. Alright, fine. I'll do exactly as you said. Hmm? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Hi! Pamela! <laughs> Good afternoon, Ma. I didn't know you were coming here today. Mm -hmm. Taya didn't tell me. Well, that's because I didn't tell him either. I came to see you. Me? Yes. I hope all is well. No, mm, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is alright. Okay. Please come in. I'm glad to have company. <laughs> Thank you. I will not allow you marry her. We will not set a date. That is what she wants. I mom. don't care what she wants. I want my son's happiness. You and Natasha are meant to be together. Mom, do not forget that Natasha is married. To a beast. He is abusive. Mom. How? 
How did you know that? I never told you. How did you know that her husband is abusive? It doesn't matter how I found out. I mean, Natasha would never mention it to... Is it Pamela? Look, it doesn't matter who told me. Oh, yes, it is Pamela. I should never have introduced you to Natasha and her sister. Mm -mm, don't say that. You did the right thing. <laughs> when I met Natasha, she was gracious, respectful, humble, honest. What a breath of fresh air. Like that black snake you call Victoria. I am not engaged to a black snake. And Natasha is not going to leave Derek. She will leave him. How do you know that? <laughs> How long do you think she can endure? She has found happiness with you. Hmm? He can continue to hit her anytime he likes. That's fine. But you see, one day, one day, she will leave him. And no amount of begging will make her go back to her vomit. Never. But mom... I... You are not getting married to Victoria and that's fine now. Hey, Natasha. What is it? What is it? Uh, where's, where's the money? I told you I don't have money. Hey, 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 come here. You don't have which money. What about the contract? The contract money and the money you've made from the company? Don't twist my words. I have money. I just don't have money to give to you. Hey, come. As you are going now, eh? please don't come back tomorrow. Just stay in Pamela's house, okay? Look, if you don't transfer that money, I will leave this house for you. Do you understand? I will leave this house for you. Derek, how much do you want? How much can you give? I'll transfer some money into your account. Right? Ah, baby! Don't, don't, don't touch me. I love you, eh? When I go and come, eh? Have a nice day. Greet Pammy for me. All right. Please don't forget it's important. Transfer that money, eh? It is tomorrow. You take care. Love your eyes. Look good. <laughs> Hey Pam. Yeah, I'm good, and you? I'm on my way already. Yeah. Oh my God, you know I forgot. God, I forgot to get the shoes. Okay, don't worry, I'll just go back home and get it, okay? Yeah, I will, I'll go back home now. All right, see you soon. Tell me, how dare you? How dare you bring your woman 
into my house. A house I built with my own money. On my matrimonial bed, Derek. So this is what you do when I go out. This is what no, you no. do. This is the only... This, this is the only time. Oh my God, if you dare lie to I'm me. On. If you... <laughs> the devil's work. I mean, I, 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 I don't want to do this. I, mean, I don't know how... Oh my God, what was I me. thinking? What was I thinking? Getting married to you. Being your wife has been a nightmare. Yeah. What was I thinking? Oh my God, oh I my God, oh my God. Oh my God. If you, if, if you ever you dare touch me, I swear I'll hit you. Get, get, get your hands off me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Hey, Mr. Unfaithful. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? After all I did for Derek, after everything he put me through, he still cheats on me. I can't believe it. I feel so stupid. I'm a big fool. Mm -mm. I've been a big fool. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't say that. You're not a fool. If there's anybody that's a fool in this situation, it's, it's that stupid Derek for losing such a good woman. And I'm glad that you finally see him for the man that he is. With all my expertise on men and everything, I, I, I did not even see the cheating coming. You warned me. You kept asking me to leave. I should have just listened to you. I should have just listened. No, it's okay. This is not the time for who said what and who didn't. Oh, God. It's okay. You're going to bounce back from this. Okay? Okay, I, I know the way you feel about divorce and the whole thing. So what are you going to do? Are you going to forgive him and go back to him? Can you say a thing like that? Of course I'm going to get a divorce. Yes. Thank God. That was the answer I, I was praying for. I can't, I can't deal with him anymore. I can't, I can't even trust him anymore. Mm. I can't. I know. Are you going to tell Tayo? No, 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 no. Not yet. I... I don't want to bother him with it. He, besides, he's on a business trip. Maybe when he comes back, I don't know. 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 I feel. Hey, I feel so hot. I feel. So, I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm all you all of it. I, I don't you know. Oh my God. See, you will get out of this, okay? You will come out stronger. I promise. If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Me so bad. Cause you love it and you cheat it and you love it a little more. You never love me again, again. Now I know for sure. Now I know for sure. Cause you love it and you cheat it. How could you? How could you bring another woman into this house? If it wasn't Pamela that called me to inform me, I wouldn't have known. So that's why you've been avoiding to see me. Oh, I said it was a mistake, I swear. I thought I was the only woman in your life. Oh, I said I'm sorry. Look, that's not the issue right now. And what's the issue? The issue is that she wants a divorce. I mean, she's currently at Pamela's place and said she's given me 24 hours to leave this house. Or she's going to sue me for domestic violence. And she has proof. I had to beg her not to take me to court. Now she's got all the money to get the best lawyer. <laughs> and I'll go to jail if I don't do what she wants. You cost it. All this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't messed up. I know. Look, I don't know what. This, I'm going to have to move in with you, you know. What about Tayo? <sighs> He's not back from his business trip. He's our only hope right now, you know. Right. I think I have to fix a date for our wedding. That's good. That's not good. All this wouldn't have happened if you had listened to me. Then I was careless. You weren't being careless. You were just being stupid. Hey, watch how you talk to me. Ah.
Cheers to you. Cheers. <laughs> Pamela shouldn't have told you I was getting a divorce. She should have let me tell you myself. I'm glad she did. <laughs> Finally, we can be together. Derek and I are separated now, so the divorce will be finalized as soon as possible. Pamela also told your mom about it. Really? <laughs> I'm sure if she was around, she'd be so happy to see you here with me. She'll probably pop a bottle of champagne. <laughs> My mom never liked Victoria. I feel so free. Like a burden was lifted out of me. I, I can't explain it, but it feels good. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> I do. So, what about Victoria? You know I can't marry her. She would blame me for that. No, she won't. I'll just tell her the truth. That I never loved her. Her attitude is so revolting. I only neglected it because I wanted to get married. My mom warned me against it, but I refused to listen. You know what? I, I think there's still time. Time for what? Time to go and see her. Time to go and see her today. I need to see Victoria in person. Although she's expecting me at her place tomorrow, but I'd rather go and see her today. So why don't you wait till tomorrow to see her? No, no, I can't wait till tomorrow. I need to get this off my chest. I can't keep deceiving her anymore. I want the whole world to know how much and how deeply I am in love with you. <laughs> okay. If you insist, that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> so I'll be going over to my house tomorrow to pick up a few of my things. But why don't you just go today? I'll take you there and wait. And then from there, we'll head to Victoria's place. Oh, come on, Ty. I don't want to stress you. That'll be stressful. Well, I am not complaining, am I? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Besides, Derek will still be in that house. Oh. And I don't want you to be alone with him. That man is capable of anything. I don't think he'll still be there. He just has one day left to be in the house. Nevertheless, I insist. I'll take Tyler. you there, okay? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, so um, let me just go upstairs and freshen up. Okay. I'll be here in a bit. deceived those people that were siblings. It was left to you to take over the company. I admit, I made a mistake, okay? A big mistake. Natasha took over that company after the death of her father. We had an agreement for you to come into the picture, toy with her heart, extort money from her, so we can use to finance our own project, establish ourselves big time. And wouldn't you have completed your own part of the agreement? What else do you want me to do? Huh? How long will I continue to apologize to you? I said I made a mistake. Look, I'll find another rich woman, another candidate. A candidate? So they are not even siblings? Natasha was the perfect candidate, you moron! I said I made a mistake! Don't shout at me, okay? I am not Natasha. Don't you dare shout at me. I'm not as stupid as she is. She lived under the same roof with you and didn't know that you had a vasectomy when she lost her five months pregnancy. So don't you dare shout at me. I can't believe this. Me too. So that was the reason I never, I couldn't get pregnant again and you blamed me for it. Oh my God. I said I'm sorry. 
Brother Jason won't solve anything. It will be difficult for me to forgive you. I trusted you. I know. And I regret my actions. Look, babes, I love you dearly. Mm -hmm. I promise I would never cheat on you again. Oh, please. Spare me those empty promises, you filthy cheat. This was an opportunity for us to cash out. All the agreement says was for you to kill Natasha and make it look like it was suicide. Right. But no, you were all over the place cheating, no. wasting time. Right. Time for us to be able to cash out and make ourselves rich. You wasted it. All right, you keep blaming me for everything. What about you? You've been sleeping with Tyre all this time and yet he had not taken you to the altar. You, no lie. How dare you? Huh? Ah! Derek! What have you done? I, 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 Victoria! I just hit her once. Victoria! I... Victoria! She, she okay? Victoria! Ah! Ah! She's breathing. I, 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 she hit me first. She was the first one to hit me, you know. I just hit her once! Once! Only once! Hey, Mr. Unfaithful If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Hey, Mr. Unfaithful If I gave you all my love, would you be faithful? Cause you lied and you cheated and you lied a little more You never loved me again, yeah, yeah, now I know for sure now I know for sure. By the time I got to the market, the man was now saying something different from what we discussed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tayo. Happy birthday to you. Wow, this is. <laughs> I'm truly lost for words. I don't know what to say. But this is simply amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome, oh. son. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Happy birthday, my love. Thank you so much, my darling. I appreciate this. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anything for you. So, why don't you make a wish? Oh, yes, yes you should make a wish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you wish for? Well, you have no idea what I truly wish for. Okay, mm -hmm. let's hear it. Well, you know what? Just excuse me for a minute. Ah. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> so, no more surprising. Can we eat before it gets back? Should we still with Camilla? Okay, don't eat. But we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> You all asked me what I wish for. Mm -hmm. Yes. Natasha. What I truly wish for is that I be your husband. The father of your unborn kids. Oh. This is my innermost desire. Please marry me. Yes. 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 yes! yes! I'll marry you. Yes. Yes. I will marry you over yes. and over again. Yes. 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 Let's eat before yes, you get cold. Now there's a story behind that ring. Okay. Oh yes, oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah.
gave you my love.